Whoa, so you think you've got a few tricks up your sleeve. Here's a trick or two for you. I forgot about this. Every now and again, Bowser will just be like, I'm gonna do a trick on you. And the trick is always just turning everyone mini for a turn. One, a two, <laughs> that's it. Uh, Peach gets a mini mushroom once again. Well, she gets mini opportunities once again, I guess, I don't know. Uh, let's see what we got here. We can still go to the shop even when we're mini. I don't know if we've shown this off yet, but when you go into a shop when you're mini, there's a little... I thought there was... Oh, no, it's only for the lottery. There's a little stepping stool for you, which is funny. Uh, I don't need any of these things, so I already got my Mega Mushroom, so don't worry about it. Uh, don't buy anything. One, a two. Yay! 66. Oh! I just need another blue space and not win this minigame, so I guess, I guess that ain't happening because I'm just too darn skilled. Watch me lose it. <laughs> I don't know. I won't lose it on purpose. Don't worry about it. I'm not that desperate for 69s. Sort of. <laughs> and Wario goes mini. And he gets a three. Cool. Cool a beans. I like the Bowser shell in the middle. It just looks, it just looks super cool. Uh, two versus two. I have a chance of losing if my uh, partner's incompetent enough, and now it's dungeon duos. There's no way I'm losing this unless the warp pipe thing just becomes super confusing. Ram, I'm Koba Kid. I should be in Mario Universe instead of Bowser Jr. Because Bowser Jr. is stupid and I hate him. Start! Oh, my God, I'm just... I'm not... Bowser Jr. I hate him. That's all I'm gonna say, because I've gone on the rant like way too many times and like it's just never gonna change. I'm never gonna like that stupid dude. Uh, let's go ahead and do that over and over. Okay. Wait for Wario to bring it down to the ground. And Oh that's smart. He's like hitting it over to the left because he wants to try and push the lever, but I'm here first, so you're gonna have to do it. Okay, thankfully it didn't fall off. And we're good. Let's go. And... You can actually make it go doubly fast if you do that. A lot of people don't think to do that. Like, I didn't think to do that for the first two times. But yeah, speed running tactics. Just hoping that I actually go in there for the first time. No, don't go in there. Okay, cool, it's this one. Go in, Wario. How about this one? Nope. This one? Nope. This one? Come on. There you go. Wario. Thank you. <clears throat> and then button mesh like crazy. Uh, speaking of WarioWare, we were talking about before, why do so many people want Ashley in uh, Smash Bros? Like, the WarioWare characters don't do much. It's just like the aesthetic of her and stuff. Cause like, I I feel like I'm saying aesthetic a lot in this LP. I, like, I admit she's like a cool looking character and stuff. And like, she's interesting, but like, why? WarioWare characters aren't important. So they don't do anything. So I don't really understand why people want them in uh, Smash Bros so badly. Like, I would like to see a Mario Party, which had WarioWare characters in there or something like that. Like, that'd be really cool. It's not gonna happen, but it'd be really cool. Cause like, they're just interesting characters cause they're just so unfitting for Mario universe. I don't know how Mario, or I don't know how Wario even knows them to begin with, but whatever, he just hangs out with these weirdos, this dude with an afro, a dog and cat, taxi driver, an alien, and ninja twins and stuff. I don't understand it, but whatever. Uh, which way are we going? Are you switching with me? Nope, we're switching with Mario. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah! And let's see, Daisy gets a, not Daisy, Peach gets an eight. How dare I confuse Peach and Daisy? A lot of people probably get mad at me for that because Daisy's so much better. Uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daisy is going to get, where the heck am I? Daisy's going to get lost, apparently. Uh, I feel like I could use the Mega Mushroom just to like get me moving along a bit. Eh, why the heck not? We'll pass the store on the way there, so we'll get no another Mega Mushroom. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see what we got. A one! Oh wow, the worst possible roll! How wonderful! And I traded the Mega Mushroom for a Mini Mushroom! Or not, okay, cool, I got a refund. 
still like that's the worst possible roll because like at least if you get two ones then you get the coin you get the coin bonus for getting the same number oh boy mario goes mega and he gets a six come on give me a nine seven thirteen unlucky thirteen for the evil bowser board i guess i don't know oh mamma mia Do -do 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 -do. another bridge Whoa, the direction changed. I didn't see that coming, even though it's happened for like the past 20 years. <laughs> uh, Wario does nothing of importance as usual. This is a very good board for the lamp as well, because you could just like, it takes forever to get to the star. Oh, uh, that'd be cool if like he just gave us a mega mushroom next turn. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Uh, let's see, four player, we got... Speed wagons, cool, something new. Except not new at all, we've done it before, it's just like, it's been a while. You know what I'm saying? It's been a while since we've been on the speed wagon raceway. It's been, it reminds me of, like that time where like I was at like a carnival or something, or there's been some sort of carnival environment with like race cars and little canoe things and stuff. And I had to stroke. Very weird thing to remember, like, cars. That reminds me of the time I had a heat stroke. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what to say after that. I don't know why I should bring that up, but whatever. <laughs> Daisy won! Get the corns and completely forget that I even said that because it's awkward and stuff. So how are you doing on the Splendiferous Day? Uh, something I'm doing recently, I finally, finally started watching The Ancient Magus Bride, or I don't know if it's Magus, or Magus, or Magus, I don't know. The Ancient Magus, Magus, Ancient Bride. <laughs> the Ancient Bride, she's really old, no. Uh, it's a show that I've been wanting to watch for a really long time, and it's pretty good, I'm really liking it. It's really, really stinking good. I, like, I don't know if it's just like, uh, those things where like, you see it and then you know it's gonna be really stinking good. Uh, just like, oh wait, this might be my chance for a Bowser suit. Come on, Bowser suit. I must believe in the heart of the card. It's my birthday. You gotta give me the Bowser suit. Come on, Bowser buddy. I don't think he's gonna give it to me. Just take 20 coins from all of you. Okay, cool. From everyone. Come on, give me, give me, give me Bowser and Koopa Kid. No. God darn it. What was I even talking about? Oh, yeah. Ancient Mage's Bride. Um, it's, I don't know if it's like, uh, one of those things where like you look at it and you just know that's gonna be really singing good. It's just like a sense thing Or just the fact that it has a skeleton in it and I'm like addicted to anything that has skeletons in it for whatever reason But yeah, I'm really liking the show and in case you didn't know in the English dub the person who voices Chisei the main character Uh, I'm going mini next turn, god darn it. Uh, the person who voices Chisei, who's the main character of that show She voices Teresa, which is really stinking cool. Just like the fact that uh, I Got to have her be part of this, which is just really cool and awesome. And Teresa has an awesome voice because of it, so I'm sure she's very happy too. Yay! But uh, awesome. the way I found her was that um, through Nintendo LP when he did his LP of Phoenix Rain, and she was the voice of Maya, so that's how I uh became aware of her work and stuff. And it was before I even knew she was part of that show and everything. So it was really cool. How, like it all works out, and hopefully I can one day join all these people in like pursuing their voice acting dreams and stuff. For now, I'm just an obnoxious YouTuber. Uh, I'm not just an obnoxious YouTuber though, I'm an obnoxious YouTuber with morals and standards and a dream hoping to achieve and expectations to be destroyed and crushed because I never succeed in anything in life. I don't know. Maybe it'll happen. Maybe one day. Charlie Brown. Uh, so let's see. So, so, yeah, something I saw like a video explaining like how to be a good voice actor and stuff. Apparently, Yeti is not a fan favorite microphone for voice actors and it's kind of like. Uh, very obnoxious or like it's a bad mistake number one if you have a Yeti it's like if you tell people you're an anime fan and tell them that you haven't seen uh, Evangelion even if you don't like it it's just like if you say you haven't seen it then it's very weird or whatever but apparently Yetis are not well respected among voice actors and I'm like whoopsie because <laughs> they're recommending like all these very expensive microphones and headsets but like my main complaint is just like this cable box thing like you connect to the microphone like to level the audio and changing around and stuff like that's the thing that confuses the heck out of me because like I did a sound production class like a year ago and it was so stinking difficult like I'm not good with sound at all and I just I don't know I'm just like very stinking nervous whenever it's anything involving that stinking box that I need to like level around and 
Uh, I guess I need to learn to better myself as a content creator and stuff, but I don't know. I personally don't see the problem with the Yeti. Like, I know it has a kind of a problem with picking up background noise, but, um, my main complaint is just, um, I don't know. Like, I think the Yeti is fine for what it is. Like, I think my stuff is fine, but, uh, I don't even know what to say. It's just that, like, it's not well respected amongst other people, so if I want to be doing work for other people, I need to get a new recording setup, which is kind of unfortunate, but I will do what needs to be done in order for my dreams to come true and all that good stuff, and wow, no one could afford this except for me and Mario, and not even Mario, cool, 52 coins, 52 coin pickup. Oh, I could have had another butterfly musical, actually, no, good thing we didn't have that. I've had enough of those for one LP, but I wanted to get the 69 butterflies like I was trying to get, but no. Into the lava we go! I do have another headset, like, uh, it's just that it doesn't work on Mac and with Audacity for some reason, so it might work if I just use it on my laptop, like, I record audio with the laptop, like, I don't have that much space, like, there's like, so little space, so much equipment and stuff. Maybe it'll be a thing of the past one day when I'm, like, in a better location, but for now, I do not have all that much room to do all this sort of stuff. Oh, jeez, get out of the way. Uh, let's see, okay, Mario burns his butt. Uh, Wario uh, goes through the fire and the flames. Yeah, the chain. Pff, wow, okay. And Wario clipped through the rocks. Cool. Uh, the chain chomp like runs off to a side that doesn't have a rock wall against it. Then he'll just turn around immediately. So be careful about that. Tutorials in the last board. Hooray! <laughs> oh, I want to get the pity coin. Oh, I'm so stinking greedy. Uh, that was a, for the battle game. We still gotta go through. What turn is it? Uh, nine. It would've been funny if it was eight and, like, Wario had eights on his, uh, dice block. And hey, he's gonna lose his coins to Bowser because he isn't Mega. He's playing with the big boys now. And he loses half his coins. I think you lose- is it always half your coins or, like, do you lose a star if you do have a star to lose? I have no idea. And I guess we never will because none of us are ever getting to that stinking star space, it seems. Uh, with 20 coins and as well. Mario, uh, let's see, he's got nothing on his side. Uh, blame it on the crane, okay. Now I'm in the bubble this time around, so at least we got a different, uh, point of view for this minigame. It's a different experience, except not really for the viewers, because you're just watching still. But you're watching a different character, you're rooting for another team, unless you're always rooting against me. Well, I guess you'd still be rooting for another team in that case. Or maybe you just really don't care, maybe I'm a podcast to you. And you just don't even watch the gameplay, because you're like, oh, it's mid and beyond, being weird and stuff. I'll just listen to whatever he's saying, because I don't really understand what he's saying, but it's entertaining nonetheless. Or just funny to make fun of him or something like that. I don't even know. Uh, cool, he got the Shy Guy. Poor Shy Guy's like, no, spare me! And then he does. I remember, like, the first time I ever got something in a claw machine, it was, like, a really ugly doll, and, like, I didn't want, so I threw it back into the claw machine. I was just really singing weird. I don't know why I did that. Uh, this is gonna be bad. Okay, good. I was just gonna wanna like, I always hold back going slow, and then I go super fast when the claw comes around. And as soon as I say that, I'm gonna mess that up. Okay, cool, it didn't happen, cool. Just run back around, back around, back around. Okay, cool. Uh, just run around here. Uh, cool. I just realized why I should be going slow so that I don't have to go through as many times. That makes sense. And there's no way he could get me. Oh wait, why did I do that? Okay. It would be really crummy if the claw just came down, like, automatically. That would've been really bad. Each Daisy Wario one. Beep, 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 92 coins and nothing to spend them on. And we're going mini again, it seems. Hooray, so even less progress being made. Does it happen, like, every four turns or something like that? It seems like it. I really think I know, it's like the one thing I don't like about this board. Like, I'd like if it was like a different event every time, but no, it's just like, let's go mini, hooray. And in case you're wondering, no, you can't use a Mega Mushroom during the turn that Bowser makes you mini, it doesn't work. As you can see right here, your items get disabled. Uh, so let's just hit it. Uh, four, cool, high number at least. Uh, only one away from five, or from an item rather. Uh, but I'm full on items, you can't discard them once you're at the item shop, so I guess that's fine. Mario gets a five. Uh, he gets to get another item at least. Good for him. I wonder what Bowser's gonna be like when he goes when he has nothing. Maybe he gives him something. That'd be funny. And Wario gets a four. 
Wario, you made it over there. Good job, buddy. He's gonna show off the mini mini game uh, to the right. No, of course not. He's just gonna like examine the star space even though he can't do anything with it. And lose even more money. Cool. Way to go, Wario. 2v2! Uh, reverse the bomb. Cool. The annoying minigame Mario Party Top 100. I have to acknowledge it every time because that made me really angry when that when I discovered that for the first time. Oh boy. I'm trying to get like all my angst out now because like I always I want to make my Mario Party 5 LP the best one ever because it's my favorite Mario Party game. So I'm trying to get like all the complainy stuff out in these next Mario Party LPs just so Mario Party 5 could just be a happy, happy, fun time. Be like la 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 la. I'm so happy. Uh, let's see. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. That. Just going up here, super easy. And that, and that. When does Babam become a playable character? And we're good. Daisy Mario. Um, I speaking of Daisy and Mario, I hope you've enjoyed the Super Mario Land segments that have been alongside this LP. I actually haven't recorded that yet because I don't have the previous character card with me. So I don't know how I'm implementing it, like how I'm distributing it into each episode. But maybe you guys like it. I have no idea. Maybe you hate it. Who knows? Oh, last five turns. Okay, cool. Let's get to the last five turns before I blow my lid. Uh, how are y'all doing anyway? <laughs> uh, first place, Daisy. No one got a lottery ticket. Second place, Wario. Third place, Peach. Dead last. More. Wait. Oh, they're both third place. Well, isn't that just stinking great? But don't get cocky. You could get roasted at any time. Now it's been that last five turns roulette already. Today's victim or guest is Mario. Blah ha ha. Like I said, blah ha ha. I said blah ha ha. Blah ha ha. Oh great! What a great note to end on. Red spaces become chance time spaces. Cool. I know it's just fortune spaces, but now we always know it's gonna be chance time in our hearts. If you wanna give up now and go home crying, I won't be surprised. And he just nods and waves. Uh, Mega Mushroom for Peach. Uh, am I in her general direction? I hope not. Uh, let's see where she's going. Oh, we know she's ahead of me. Six. Come on, give us a nine. Ten. Great. Oh, the bridge! No! No, I can't give it to Bowser! Uh. Well, I guess I could waste my mini mushroom then, because I was going to be like, oh, I'm going to use the Mega Mushroom to get across quicker, but no. Now we get to see Peach battle Bowser. Bowser and the giant peach. <laughs> uh, Bowser wrestling once again. There's a one other Bowser event here on the gnarly party board, which we are probably not going to be able to see, which is kind of unfortunate, but whatever. Just going to watch Koba Kid get slaughtered again, which is funny. Always a, always a sight to behold. Blah! And peach, peach, peach. You hit him like twice. Okay. And she loses her coins. Do I miss? I don't think I've acknowledged that yet. Yeah, she says, do I missed, which is kind of funny. But it's not as iconic as Wario's do I missed. It's just weird. Like, I have all the characters that give that to. She's, they give it to Peach. I don't know why, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Mini Mushroom. Just so we can free up some inventory space, possibly get a magic lamp. Mm -hmm. What do we get? We got a four. Into the item shop. What do we got, Copa Kid? Yeah, magic lamp, item bag. Well, it'd be stupid to use it because we only have well, one item space, but whatever. Uh, use the magic lamp. Yay! One, two, three, and we can't even use that. I want to like at least show off the second Bowser event because that'd be cool. Uh, yeah, the will some well actually no it won't matter because Bowser gets warped somewhere else every time you do that. So maybe it won't matter, but at least I get to use the uh, thing Mahuzi. I get to use the magic lamp and we'll get at least a star on this board. Got seven and seven. Hello, two sevens. So he gets extra coinage because there's sevens. Uh, okay, Wario. There's the lottery that he missed. And hey, Wario and Bowser are gonna face off. Let's see if he'll show off the final, well, and by final, I mean the second and only other Bowser game. Jump up here. And here it is, the bingo board or whatever, the 
keypad. Panels of Doom. Basically, just gotta match dice with Bowser. Uh, if you roll a number on a dice, that number disappears from the board, and if you're standing there, then you die. So let's see what happens. Also, there's faces on the board, so if you get the Bowser face, the Bowser just dies immediately. Or if Bowser uh, hits the Wario's face, then he dies immediately. And that was super easy. No! Wow, Wario actually won. So if you win, do you just survive and move on, or does Bowser give you something? Uh, oh, Bowser's- Oh, he teleports! Okay! I was like, why is he fuming red? I don't understand, but no, he goes to a different space, that's cool. Uh, maybe he's near me now and I can actually use the Mega Mushroom. Uh, bounce? Uh, Wario doesn't get the star, thankfully. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate, oh god. Oh boy, please don't be me. I don't want to lose any coins. I'm glad I don't have a star to lose, but still, I'm really scared. Uh, I should keep my eyes closed. That's what I learned. Keep my eyes closed. Boy, I close my eyes while I'm playing to win. Well, does that mean I'll lose if I keep my eyes closed while I'm not playing? I don't know how this works. Oh god, I'm so stinking scared. Having them open right now. So it's Peach. Uh, I've decided to keep them open. I'm dreaming with my eyes wide open. Hopefully I won't have a nightmare with my eyes wide open. Uh, thank you. Okay, cool. Not involved. Peach and Mario. What's gonna happen between them? Find out next time on The Bachelor. I've never seen The Bachelor, so I don't know why I'm using like a Brooklyn accent. I don't know if that's actually a thing on the show. I doubt it is. It's a very specific thing for me to pull out of my hat and assume that it actually happens. Wow. They both have zero coins and zero stars, so literally nothing could happen. <laughs> that was an event and a half.